So Jesus expected them to behave maturely. He said, this son, although he is younger, came and met his father and said, give me my inheritance. I know many of you are here, you, your father is a billionaire, he's a millionaire, you are waiting for when he's going to die so that you inherit something. You, to make sure and surprise you, they have donated the money to charity. <laughs> your man stood on national TV and said, all his money should be to do charity. I said, your children are looking at you. What? And he said, billionaire, see, stop having the mentality that somebody will do something and give you one day. Don't do that. Yes, a good father should leave inheritance for his children, children, right? But the father was good. You too go and become a good father because you'll be a father one day. Because no matter how you are, if you don't grow, even if your father give you 10 billion, you will still become that foolish son. Because that was what happened to the son. There is no maturity in the son. So he squandered everything. Collected everything. The father did not argue with him. Yes, it's your right and portion. I agree. He gave him everything. Divided it. And went with it. And when he went with it, the Bible says he went and lived a very, very, very good life. I mean, he lived a life with gangsters, you know, all kinds of things. You know, he was a big boy. That's good. Let me tell you, your big boy is not forever. I know you saw 1 million in your account, 2 million in your account, 10 million in your account, 20 million in your account, see it will finish. Money was meant to finish. Is that okay? And like I've always known long time ago, that the days of famine prepared men for the days of abundance. And the days of abundance prepared men for the days of famine. The boy was foolish. He never knew that famine would come. Because the genesis of his problem was when famine came. If he knew famine would come, he would be wise like Joseph. Say, gather more. Let's have bands and save this thing. Because a day of famine come. He never knew. Just when he was there rejoicing and being happy, suddenly famine struck. And when famine struck, it's not as if his money finished. Famine made the price of everything increase, like Nigeria. And as much money that the father gave was not enough again. And the Bible says he began to want. He never had a need. Mind you, want a luxury. Need a necessity. Is that not true? In real sense, many things we want are just luxury. And immediately he was in want. Why? Because he was a waster. And because he was in want, suddenly he wanted to occupy that place of want. And he ran and join himself with the country people and when he joined himself with the country people he find a man he was there and the nature of want is that it will never be satisfiable from want he became a slave because it was all long enough he moved from want to need now he can no longer feed for himself even the money they are paying him cannot he can't survive again and now he's in need and when he's in need of course necessity is laid upon you man must eat when he's in need, there is no way out. Because he was a waster by default, he cannot sustain anything. A waster, nothing multiplying the hands of a waster. And suddenly, he began to feed with swine. Imagine a guy that left his father's house, a billionaire, came and began to feed with swine. He is now truly humble. Poverty humbled him. Famine humbled him. We don't have to wait for this long for God to humble us. I believe that those sinners... Those people that came to Jesus had an understanding because that was not their life before. There was a moment in their life when, they are all, when, it's, when everything was all fun and good. But suddenly, something struck. And when that thing struck, their life became a reproach. So many of you here, your life is going on well. That's nice. I agree with you. But please, don't wait for the days of calamity because it will come. I tell you that day will come. How many of you would have prepared for this terrible year we have seen it in prophecy spoken about it prophesy about it and the lord gave us a word i shared i was with my friends praying i saw eagles i share all of those visions how i saw bigger eagles smaller eagles flying together the smaller eagle cannot fly above the mountain and they were hit by the mountain they fell the bigger eagle were able to go above the mountain there that was the genesis of the team for the year mounting up 
I shared this vision. Said how next year economy will collapse. This is will happen to Russia. But I have I have seen all of this. Is. And the Lord said, prepared. Evil is going to be upon the face of the earth. Political sector will crash. We spoke about many things. And I knew. And because an understanding was given, we saved God ourselves. And I'm telling you again, again, and again, again. In the days of famine, be strategically placed because the days of abundance are coming. You see the challenge you are going to in Nigeria, it will shock and surprise you what will happen in the next two years. Whether Tinibu is still president, because we are consolidating, people are enjoying the suffering. By the time we are done, everybody will shoot up. You don't know, this is how life works. Everything go up and come down, go up and come down. Do you understand my point? We are not going to remain down forever, but those that are down now should be prepared to go up. Are you getting the point? It will go on hibernation after a while. Do you get the point now? Everything is prepared for a global takeover. But there are those that are going to be featured in the landscape. People become more richer in the days of recession. That's what you don't know. Ask economists. Recession is the moment of kingdom wealth transfer. Because when others are getting poorer, others are getting richer, ask yourself how. It's not often and tight. There are wisdoms. Because in the days of famine, that was when Joseph became more richer. In the days of famine, Egypt prospered. Egypt was not a kingdom that actually has God as the center of the excellency. But the wisdom of Joseph saved the entire country. In the days of famine, everybody is in need. And those that can be able to survive that days of famine enter abundance. The young man put himself into slavery unknowingly. And now he needs redemption fast. But thank God, the next scripture there is that he came to his senses. I never knew he had sense before. Please tell your neighbor, return back to your senses. Head of works, please, there is seat here. There is seat here. I'm seated, I'm sitting here. Return back to your senses. And he arose and came to his father. When he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto his father, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and I am not more worthy to be called thy son. Hmm. I know sometimes we speak in boldness. We are this, we are that, we are this. Sometimes you see me shout, I am Philip Cephas. I am. Before I do that shouting, I must have knelt down several times and cried to God. 